my channel and if you're new what up so you guys today i'm bringing y'all my personal easy reach fragrance picks these are the perfumes that i gravitate towards the most i really don't have to think about it when i grab for these they layer with a ton of different things so i can kind of get away with wearing them whenever i want and then i'm always reaching for them like literally throughout the year no matter the season so spring summer fall winter these are kind of like my go-to perfumes i really do enjoy them and i could have done an easy reach perfume pick lineup you know based off of just scent notes and what i think that a vast majority of people would like so they would be considered like easy reach go-to perfumes but i did this strictly based off of what i actually like what i naturally gravitate towards because i feel like it's a little bit more personal that way than me giving y'all just recommendations based off of what i think people would like so i hope y'all get what i'm saying but this is my lineup of easy reach perfumes and y'all will have to know that a lot of these are my favorites especially if you've been rocking with this channel for a while a lot of these y'all will be able to guess what my easy reach picks are because i've either gone through a bottle of them before or i just really really enjoy the scent and i'm always talking about it so that's how you know i wear it a lot but um, if you're new here, then you're going to be getting like my favorites lineup up basically. And I'm going to tell you why I feel like they're easy reach fragrances. So if you're ready to see all that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we have to start off with one of my faves, a classic. This is a fragrance that I've gone through multiple bottles of. Um, I enjoy wearing this scent every single time that I put it on. It has never gotten old to me. I've never even fallen for any of the dupes of this fragrance and there's so many of them out there. Like I just never even wanted to try any of those fragrances just because I love this one so much in particular. Um, I wear it a lot during the year, no matter the time of the year. And I just always, always, always love this fragrance every single time I wear it. And that is Ariana Grande's Cloud. I am obsessed with this fragrance, always have been, probably always will be. It's definitely top five. This is an easy reach fragrance because I feel like it's so light and pretty and airy. It literally can go for any season. For spring and summer, it's light enough, it's fluffy enough, it's airy enough. The coconut, the lavender, the musk, like it's a really pretty combination in this fragrance. And then for fall and winter, I feel like it definitely can give you like a cozy type of vibe as well. Like not too, too sweet, but sweet enough to give you a like cozy type of vibe. It's also universal men and women non-binary wear this so this is a very universal very versatile type of fragrance i would wear this dressed up dressed down anything in between i would wear this to bed like this is an easy reach type of fragrance i never have to think about it when i wear this one so that one had to be in this lineup another one that i feel like is kind of along the same lines in my opinion to wear like i will wear it to any and everything i will wear it to work i will wear it to the gym i will wear it to a special occasion because it's my signature scent this is what embodies me this is the fragrance that embodies me and so i would include valentino donna born in roma the original and the intense in my easy reach lineup just because like i said this is my signature scent this is my fragrance my top number one holy grail of all time fragrance so of course it would be in my easy reach fragrances because there are some times where i don't feel like doing a whole body care routine i will literally just jump in the shower use whatever shower gel that i want i will put on some basic lotion or an oil and then i would just throw this on i don't need to do a whole body care layering routine when i wear this perfume and i will still smell amazing it will still last on my skin and i just feel like me when i wear this fragrance so of course this is an easy reach type of perfume for me it is my go-to my signature and i absolutely love it so like i said valentino donna born in roma the original as well as the intense version would be in my easy reach fragrance lineup okay so then um jessica simpson's signature i have to mention this one I feel like I'm part of the reason why this fragrance sold out on the discount websites and it's super hard to find now. I mean, it was already discontinued. So whatever stock that the discounted websites had, that's what they had. But once I started talking about it, I saw so many people saying that they were going to buy this perfume. They were going to try it out. So I'm pretty sure that I'm part of the reason why this is now gone and you can barely find it. But Jessica Simpson's signature is super pretty. And the reason why I love it so much is because I feel like in the beginning, it reminds me of Valentino Donna Born in Roma 100%. It also kind of reminds me of Viva La Juicy. Like it has the DNA of some of the most popular perfumes out there, but it still holds its own as a signature fragrance. So you definitely get like this apricot fruity type of 
opening in this fragrance but then you get the white chocolate you get the tonka bean you get the vanilla type of dry down and it's super pretty super feminine um this is like just a really pretty delicate flirty feminine type of scent so i really do love this one and it's a definite easy reach and i'm kind of holding on to my little 30 ml bottle but i really do like that one and if i can find it in a 100 ml i would definitely repurchase that one and then i would go ahead and finish up that bottle so two that are kind of in the same category for me because they they kind of remind me of each other. That is Jimmy Choo Illicit and Prada Candy Low. So the reason I say they remind me of each other because their top, middle, and base notes give off the same vibe. So they both have citruses in the top notes and then in the middle they have like some type of amber or caramel or in Jimmy Choo Illicit's case it has the honey and then in the dry down it has like... I don't know, some heavier scent notes, maybe amber or vanilla or something like that, but they just give off the same vibe. They remind me of like those 90s department store mature woman type perfumes. Like that's what they give me. Um, in Illicit, you can definitely smell the honey a lot heavier in this one, but it also has that caramel. It also has that ambery type of dry down. So for me, this is a very um, syrupy, but still super pretty, dainty, feminine type of fragrance. But this is my easy reach fragrance for like fall and winter. As far as product low, this would be for fall and winter as well, but I feel like I can also take this one into spring just because this one also has some sweet pea like it has some floral notes in the um in the mid so i feel like i can use this one in spring as well but it's still very very pretty it still has that syrupy type of dry down just like jimmy Choo illicit this one does not have any honey in it but the caramel mixed in with i believe it's tonka bean smells so and benzoin it smells so damn good in this one so it's basically like a lighter version of the original product candy i really do like this one and um this one has been discontinued so you would have to find this one on like the discounted fragrance websites but i would highly recommend that one because it's super pretty okay and so y'all had to know i was going to include this one this is truly unicorn fruit if i didn't ever discover this perfume it would be pink sugar in this lineup but because i love truly's unicorn fruit more than pink sugar i'm only including this one this is my go-to super sweet candy like fruity fragrance it literally smells like cotton candy like sugary cotton candy but i always tell you guys that the truly unicorn fruit if you really pay attention to the way that this fragrance develops you would know that it's more than just a cotton candy fragrance like to me you can definitely smell the berries you can smell the citruses in this in the beginning you can smell that acai green tea note you can smell the cotton candy like you can smell other notes in this fragrance so to me it's not just a pink sugar dupe it's a little bit more than that in my opinion and i like it more than i like pink sugar so this one has to be in my easy reach fragrances because it's definitely is definitely one of those okay now a more newer discovery that i added to my easy reach lineup is c passione by giorgio armani now this i'm including into my easy reach fragrances just because again this one starts off smelling very very similar to donna born in roma it does smell i don't care what nobody says it starts off smelling very similar and they even have pretty much the same scent notes and the same scent profile type of breakdown okay so they both start off very fruity. They both start out with that black currant. It's kind of a little bit heavy. It's kind of syrupy. They both start out with that. Then they have the florals, the white florals in the mid notes. But the difference that C. Passione has is I feel like this one is more soapy. I don't think I would love Valentino Donna Born in Roma as much if it smelled exactly like this because this one has more of a soapy, fresh factor to it and it lasts throughout the whole entirety of the fragrance. Valentino Donna Born in Roma takes a different turn. It doesn't get soapy and it doesn't stay fresh. It literally gets heavier as you wear it because of that bourbon vanilla. This one stays a little bit more fresh. This one does not have bourbon vanilla in it. It has vanilla, it has patchouli, and it has some woody notes in there, just like Born in Roma. But like I said, it's not heavy like Born in Roma because I feel like the difference between those vanillas is what keeps this one a little bit more light and airy and not as like heavy and sensual and sweet like Born in Roma. But I love this perfume. Either way, I love this one. And this is definitely a compliment getter. I feel like this is such a great everyday wear type of perfume. So this is one that I would easily reach for for work on the weekends. Like just casually, this is one that I would reach for. And it pairs with a ton, surprisingly. Like it really pairs with a lot. And I think it's because it 
gives off that more soapy fresh type of vibe like you can pair this with so much so i do really love giorgio armani c passione that's definitely an easy reach fragrance a repurchase fragrance this one is ariana grande's ari and again like with ari's perfumes i feel like a lot of her perfumes are considered easy reach fragrances like they're easy to throw on they're easy to wear this is my second bottle of ari and i i really didn't realize how much i missed this fragrance until i didn't have it anymore this is like the perfect pear floral marshmallow wrap up i i love this i love this fragrance i love the composition of this fragrance i think it is so 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 pretty at first i was like okay yeah i'm gonna get tired of the pear and i kind of did get tired of the pear because in this i feel like it's more of a freshy type of pear it could be considered a ripe pear, but to me, this one is more of a freshy type of pear. It's not super, super mushy. So I was like, I'm going to get tired of that pear with the quickness. But it's something about that just marshmallowy dry down. The raspberry in this is so pretty. I really like this fragrance. Like, what more can you ask for? How much more girly and feminine and sweet can you get than this one? Like, it's fruity in the opening. It has, like, slight pretty vanilla orchid floral notes in the mid. And then it has, like, that marshmallowy kind of musky dry down like it's perfection i really do like this one as an easy reach fragrance um another newer one like this one came more so towards the winter time of last year this is la vanilla pure vanilla the first time i wore this like the very first time i wore this fragrance i got a compliment and i got told that i smell like cookies i smell like dessert and like it, it was one of those type of compliments where it's like you might want to be careful out here because you smell too damn good like you smell too good this fragrance i didn't even think this fragrance was going to hit like that or get compliments like that because it says pure vanilla but when you smell this one you can kind of smell a more clean vanilla you can kind of smell like a more light and airy vanilla i didn't think that it smelled like baked goods i didn't think that it smelled like you know a super warm comforting cozy vanilla it's warm but i didn't think that it smelled like baked goods but apparently to other people when i wore this it smelled like baked goods so this is definitely one of my easy reach vanilla type fragrances because i do have some of those as well like go to easy reach vanilla fragrances this one would definitely fall into that category um fall and winter love this fragrance love this fragrance so when fall and winter rolls back around y'all will see this one getting used a ton now i could say the same about this fragrance but this is actually one that i don't mind wearing spring and summer either but that's just because that's what i want to wear during spring and summer this is billy eilish eilish i know a lot of people refer to this as smelling like hot chocolate um they say that it has like a little bit of a minty note as well i agree with that like in the beginning you do have that kind of sharp blast that smells kind of menthol-y i've kind of gotten over that like the more i smell this fragrance the more i wear this fragrance i kind of gotten i kind of have gotten over that blast in the beginning or maybe i've just gotten used to it but yeah a lot of people say that this one smells like chocolate to me it's just this is another like well composed fragrance this is just perfection she did her one with this one i don't know what happened with the second one but it did not get globally hyped like this one did like she did her one with this fragrance this is perfection so y'all already know this one starts off with like some berry notes it's spicy it has cacao um it has vanilla it literally to me just smells like warm vanilla chocolate I, like I can't there's no other way to explain it it's so good it's one of my favorites y'all know I went through a whole full bottle of this this is my second bottle um was definitely one of my most used fragrances during the summer of last year for me this is one that I could use year round I don't mind wearing it year round because I love it that much and it's a compliment getter I feel like it works very well with me and it's a compliment getter so absolutely love Billie Eilish Eilish okay so then we have Paris Hilton Eris quite literally one of my favorites like do y'all see a trend here because i'm seeing a trend here this is one of my favorites um this one also just speaks to me so much this is a super fruity kind of fizzy bubbly fresh type of scent so it has that really fruity it has that peach that's very heavy to me it has that grenadine um it has that champagne bubbly note it has that tonka bean like this is just so pretty this is one of the prettiest fragrances ever 
it's one of my faves i love it i feel like it's so easy for me to pair this with so many different things because it's like a fruity fresh type of fragrance so it can literally layer on top of so many different things it can layer on fruity scents it can layer on floral scents it can layer on fresh scents and it just smells good with all of them so this is definitely one of my easy reach fragrances and it's a year-round fragrance period the most that i wore this fragrance was in the winter time and i got the most compliments during that time as well but any other time that i wore this fragrance i would get compliments so like this is just a year-round fragrance and it's super pretty i love that one okay and then my last two fragrances i really need to pull these out and start wearing them more so juicy couture juicy couture the original i did wear this fragrance a lot this is a big 100 ml bottle and i have a nice dent in it I did wear this fragrance a lot, um, but it took me a while to kind of appreciate this fragrance for what it was. This is heavy on the white florals. So even though this has a bunch of fruity notes in the top, it has some watermelon, green apple, passion fruit. Like, I feel like you really have to have a trained nose to smell all of that in this fragrance because to me, this is a very like lily tuberose heavy type of fragrance like and when i first smelled this i did not have a trained nose so it kind of took me a while to really understand this fragrance because i was like i don't smell none of those fruity notes and then i definitely did not smell the creme brulee the caramel the vanilla like the gourmand dry down that this has i definitely didn't smell that but again it took for me having a trained nose it took for this fragrance to kind of sit in my collection for a little bit for me to kind of really get and understand the hype and now this is definitely one of my go-to fragrances i really do enjoy this one i typically tend to wear this one most during the spring the fall and the winter because i like pairing this one with more sweet and gourmand fragrances um but then also again during the springtime i really could kind of play this up with like more floral scents if i wanted to so it's a beautiful fragrance you just would have to like i said have a really trained nose to understand that one and now that i do it's definitely one of my go-to fragrances and the last one i have to show you guys is mon guerlain by guerlain this is one of the prettiest vanilla fragrances ever and it has the addition of lavender which i am not the biggest fan of this was the very first perfume that i feel like got lavender and vanilla right to me because i i typically don't like lavender and vanilla together i feel like they don't mesh well in my opinion like i do not like lavender and vanilla together i would much rather have my vanilla by itself it doesn't need any lavender like why would you add lavender to it because i don't like lavender but this is one of the few perfumes where i feel like the lavender and the vanilla is done right for it to mainly be those fragrance notes that you smell like those are the main two fragrances that you smell and in this fragrance it's super pretty it's super soothing it's super delicate and soft and pretty and feminine and so i really do enjoy this fragrance this is another like fall and winter kind of staple for me this smells like a comforting hug during the fall and winter like it's very warm and just sophisticated and pretty you can dress this one up if you want to during the fall and winter or you can tone this one down and just be in like a cozy little snuggly sweater just be chilling on the couch with this fragrance so i think it's very versatile and it's an easy reach fragrance i do really like this one like you don't have to be dressed up just because this is a girl on fragrance at all like this is casual as well so i really do like this fragrance and it's an easy reach but that is it you guys that is my easy reach fragrance lineup um i'm really happy with the scents that i chose because i definitely feel like they embody me they definitely go well for what i like to go for um and a lot of these are very well loved very well used so that lets you know that they are you know easy reach fragrances for me so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video and seeing my lineup if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up leave a comment down below letting me know what some of your easy reach perfumes are that i might need to go ahead and add to my collection go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below if you're new thank you so much for watching you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance of beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace